G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. Yes, that thumbnail is correct. And I'll be honest, I'll be honest, I'm not even sure if I can say this. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to say this on YouTube, but I do like to push the barriers on YouTube uh, to a certain point, right? And have a bit of bit of fun, bit of a uh, bit of tongue in cheek. And I'm asking the question today, if I can find my picture. Does Christian Kunz have some stiff competition? <laughs> now, now, look, I am a family show, but I'm young-minded at heart. Uh, I'm a bit of a silly bugger. But I found this story on... Uh, where is it? I found this story on the internet to just now, like an hour ago. And I was like, oh, I'm going to make a pun out of this. So according to this article from... Where's it from? I don't even know where this is from. DC News Now. Former w, WVU long snapper receives workout invite from the Steelers, Sanahara. Now, if you guys remember, and as the article explains too, uh, Rex Sanahara was a part of the Steelers in 2021. He was cut. He was, he, he was like, the, he says here he was a reserve long snapper and he was waived in the next offseason. Then we got Christian Kunz, right? So I'm asking the question, Is does Christian Kunz have some stiff competition going on in the camp? Now, I've got a few ideas. This could just be a bloke that's coming in from the XFL. Uh, he played for the, the, the Brahmas, which is Heinz Ward's team, right? So there's a connection there with Heinz Ward and Mike Tomlin, the Brahmas. Uh, the Steelers end up getting uh, Luke Barco as well. From the from the Brahmas, so that's that's one of the connections, and maybe they're thinking about bringing another long snapper for camp. I don't overly think you need you need two long snappers in camp. It could just be a workout, but is this any threat towards one of our favorite players, number forty six, right? Um, <laughs> Kunz, right? I just I'm still so yeah, I'm still so. <laughs> I'm still so amazed I can actually write that. Like the fact that I can write that on YouTube, I think is funny. Uh, I got to try and get this bloke online. It's, it's nothing. Look, I'm not, I'm not laughing. Um, uh, I guess I am a little bit because we say this word so much in Australia. Uh, you guys have no idea how much we say this word and we say it within good taste too. You wouldn't say, it, you know, against your grandmother or grandfather. You say it in good taste and all in context, right? All in context. But yeah, this is the story. I, <laughs> this is the story that I saw today, and I guess also the story that I'm going to run with. Long snapper, long snapper. Now, long snapper isn't the most vital part of the team. Even Christian Kunz had, um, I think it was last year in the off season, he was mic'd up, and he's been actually pretty, pretty, pretty big part of the team as well, doing like um, charity things and being mic'd up, and you know, um, helping the team out that way. And he even said in in the off season, I think it was in 2022. That what do you do all day? What do you do all day as a long snapper? And then we saw last year um, in the offseason, in, in, in some of the videos the Steelers released, TJ Watt came out and, and started long snapping himself. And like, what what do they do? Like, what honestly do they do for like eight hours? I don't I don't know. So, yeah, because uh, all you need to do is practice the field goal, practice the punting, make sure everything's perfect. But can you do that eight hours in a row? He wouldn't be a part of, um, you know, he wouldn't be a part of defensive game plans as a linebacker. Now, Christian Kunz used to play linebacker, right? So that's the advantage he might over might have over Sanahara. But yeah, there's the news. Uh, let me try and read this article, if I can bring it up again. So I know I'm all over the shop, but it's been a busy weekend. Hope you guys have a good weekend too. We're doing a live tomorrow, do a bit of a catch up. And um, I actually went out to uh, watch a grand final. The soccer grand final was fantastic, right? So yeah, it says here the XFL announced tweet that former Mountaineer long snapper Rex Sanahara received a workout invite from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Sanahara last played with the San Antonio Brahmas of the XFL, who were coached by former Steeler receiver Heinz Ward. Uh, oh, they spelt Heinz wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. These articles, these places are terrible. They spelt Heinz, H-E-I-N-Z. Can I blow that up? That's crazy. Do you see that? Oh boy. Do you see that? Look at that. They spelled Heinz wrong. H-E-I-N-Z. That's crazy, man. 
Oh my goodness. Maybe I shouldn't give these guys a shout out. It's H H I N E S Heinz, not Heinz Ward as in Heinz. That's that's a that's a blunder right there. That's a big blunder. Um Anyways, so Heinz Ward with H-I-N-E-S, not the Heinz, Heinz Field. Kanahara has spent time with the organization, got, got cut, but now he's coming back. He's six foot six, uh, former wide receiver, it says here. And what is it here? Uh, Dolphins waived him in 2021. And that's about it. It says here, if awarded a spot, he will compete with the Steelers returning starter, Christian Kuntz, the starting job. He has not signed a contract. He's only on the 90-man roster. But like I said, like I said, is there stiff competition? Does Christian Kunz have stiff competition? Anyways, let me know, guys, in the comments below what you think. Uh, that's my little episode for today. A few, a few, a few, a few points we've learned today is there could be competition at a long snapper. Uh, do you overly need two long snappers in camp? Probably not. Probably not. You're probably better off giving it to another another player like a linebacker receiver, running back, um, you know, things like that. Another O-lineman as well, you know. There was also another O-lineman, I think, um, a tackle received an invite too for a workout, right? And the second point is, this article can't spell Heinz. I can't believe that. you got to check it, mate. you got to check it. When you do these things, you have to check your, your work. Look at this. Unbelievable. Look at that. Sanahara last played with the San Antonio Brahmas of the XFL, who were coached by former Steeler receiver Heinz Ward, which is which is spelt the same way as the as the ketchup. Anyways, guys, that's my episode for today. Bit of a uh, bit of tongue in cheek. Hopefully you enjoyed that. It was a bit silly on my end, but I couldn't pass it up. I just couldn't. It's it's amazing what you can do. The amount of puns you can do with this name, and I think that's fun. That might be one of the best thumbnails I've ever created, uh, ever. Right, Sanahara on the right hand side. Kunz has stiff competition. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoy the rest of your evening and your night, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we'll go live and talk about everything that happened on the weekend. Uh, where can I get rid of this photo? He's back, Canada. No, nah, I'm just kidding. All right, hopefully you guys have a good good rest of your night or, or morning. I think it's your morning. And tomorrow night we'll talk about everything that happened in the, over the weekend with the camp stuff. It's been yeah, the hype continues, man. The hype continues. We've got players breaking out. Corey Trice, Calvin Austin. Um, Keanu Neal was talking highly about the team. Yeah, things are happening. But we do have one big competition. That is, uh, Sanahara is coming for, for the uh, Mr. Kunz's job. All right, guys. I'll see you later.